Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry, giving you tips and tools to get organized and get prepared. So I am here in my hallway, just down from the foyer. This is my entryway, and here is my living room. I'll give a tour of that another time. I have done a tour of my entryway, and that hasn't changed much, much so I'll put a link in the description box below. I wanna show you the entryway closet. So I've recently kinda of decluttered, reorganized this, and it's also a continuation to just show you where my jackets are. My last video was a tour or of my master closet organization. I also showed you there my capsule wardrobe rack, which I'll do uh, more of an explanation of that in a different video. But I wanted to show you this because this is where the rest of my clothes are, which are my jackets. So. I have about 20 jackets. There's a puffy winter jacket that I don't have here because it's uh, already March and it's not gonna be that cold anymore, even if I go up north here in Arizona. So what I do with that is I vacuum, um, I vacuum pack that in one of those big vacuum bags and we store it in a bin in the garage with the other winter jackets. So since I'm here in Phoenix, uh, we don't really use a lot of gloves and hats and stuff like that. It's really just for when we go to a place that has snow or we want to go, um, you know, enjoy winter somewhere else. It's not going to really be here locally, but we do have those items in case, uh, you know, we get into some freak storm like what happened recently. Um, I hope all of you are safe. So let's just start up here. Okay. I have decluttered my hats and right now I have one, two, three, four five hats okay and there are enough there are hooks here enough for eight hats so i could have three more uh one of my tips is to use example for hats use a certain um hanging organizer or hooks like this or you can even use command hooks you can have um organizers specifically for hats and keep it to that organizer don't have two or three or whatever uh stick to that so here i'm going to stick to eight and then I just have some umbrellas here. So there's three in there, and then we have one in each car. And the reason we have three here is, um, let's say it's uh, actually really rainy, which is not often here also, but it's really rainy. And so we need uh, another, an extra umbrella or an umbrella for each person, depending where we're going. So we have those extras there. I have my summer hat here. I did have a black one which I didn't like anymore. So I do plan to replace it. It would go here on a command hook. And then this bag, I think I got from TJ Maxx a long time ago. And this actually houses the stuff I use for when I do in-person organizing. And so usually I have a folder here of somebody's notes. And then these are just laminated uh, signs that I had made like donate, recycle, uh, trash, shred, and sell okay and then i have some tools there and then i just get my label maker from my home office that's in a hallway i'll link that video too and then i just stick it in there so i do do in person but i really um do a lot of uh, virtual organizing so if you want to do that i'll link that below if you want to hire me for uh, virtual organizing that is something that i have been doing so let's start here on the bar i have all of my jackets and I have here my two kind of winter jackets. Well, it's a, one, a winter jacket and then um, a trench coat. So I've had those for a while, never changed them out. Then I have some vests, some furry vests, and I just go by color, brown, gray, black. This is a pleather one. This is one of those uh, puffy kinds, and then a white puffy one. Here are my workout jackets. Um, I do prefer this brand, the Lululemon brand, and I've had these for years. So those are the ones I have. I've had a couple others that I've given to my daughter now. And then I have here jean jackets. So this is actually a recent purchase. It's a pink one. Then I have a light, a medium color, and a darker one. Um, I did have one also that I gave to my daughter, meaning um, they're too small for me. <laughs> Okay, and then I have these jackets, uh, this kind of army green one, a camouflage one, and a black one. So I like this style of jackets. Um, 
just on a daily basis when it gets cooler. And they're also perfect for me when I travel because they have a hood, they're water resistant, and they have pockets. I love pockets for traveling because I usually end up having tickets, uh, entry tickets that I just want to put in there in one of the pockets, or I have a little souvenir. I just want to be hands-free. Uh, maybe I brought a small purse usually when I travel, so things may not fit in there. So I just like having extra pockets. Um, so enough about pockets. And then I have here some caps for my husband and these hold six. So he can have six of them. I think right now he has five. So he's almost at the max and he's good with that. Um, he used to have a lot more, but he was, has been able to let go of them. And then let's go here on the inside of the door. I just have this over the door hook, uh, rack. And I have here, this actually goes to, I believe the vest and my daughter keeps her jackets here. Um, she has a few in her room right now. She is doing that because it's in her, um, Ikea rack for her capsule wardrobe. She likes to, uh, plan which jackets she's using. So she has it up there, but when she's not using them, she goes ahead and puts them here. And then I have these command hooks. Each of them holds three pounds. You can get this at any retail store. And this is for when uh, my husband, he sometimes, uh, if not all the time, <laughs> puts his jacket somewhere in the family room and he doesn't um, have the time or he didn't make the time to hang them back up in the closet. And then let's say I have company coming. So I just grab those jackets and hook them in he on here. And that just takes care of everything instead of running up. And it, trust me, it's just a lot easier for me. Or when we have guests in the time when people are wearing jackets here in Phoenix, um, when you're wearing a jacket, usually you just keep it on, but sometimes the house is warmer. So people want to take it off. So I have places here for them to put their jackets or sometimes they don't want to put their purse on a chair or a table or a couch somewhere in my home. So I go ahead and have that for them. But most of the time, uh, the ladies like to keep their purse with them or they like to, um, plop it on one of my chairs. So, but that's an option. And down here are my daughter's shoes. So she has 15 pairs, including her slippers, which are behind me by the stairs. These are her daily shoes for school. And then these are her daily shoes in the summer. So she's been at home, uh, or, uh online school for like a year, right? When, but it just the past two weeks, she went back in person and it's just been better for her. And uh, she really likes it. There's a lot of safety protocols at school, so that's been good. And these, all these shoes she wears, and she's very good at letting go of any shoes she's not wearing anymore or have been completely torn. And like these, they're probably two or maybe three years old, but she won't let them go until they're like completely, you know, wrecked up. So uh, they're staying for now. So for those of you in uh, my type of climate, you know, you would want to place in your entryway closet or whether it's a wall that you use and you have a bench, but use hooks. Hooks are a great thing for hats, for um, uh, jackets or hoodies, uh, purses, other bags, backpacks. I used to have a whole system for my kids when they were younger for their backpacks and jacket and their shoes and it was a, uh, it was fantastic. They, they loved it. But, uh, as your kids grow up and as you know, we go through different lifestyles, then you change your organization according to that. So this is my current lifestyle. You know, these are the hats I use. These are the jackets I use. And, uh, it works for me that her shoes are here. My shoes are up and her jackets are here and that we have these hook hooks for guests and for my husband's jackets. And I always recommend using the same type of hangers. They're just, they just make it look more streamlined and neater. And I like to use the wooden hangers uh, because the, the velvet skinny hangers, they've just always broken, especially when you're pulling off a jacket. We're not that good at taking it off nicely. We like to just pull it off. And um, these are the jackets that I have. If you have more and you need more space, definitely use the skinny velvet hangers, you're going to be able to fit uh, a little bit more. I'm fortunate to have a big enough foyer and space here. And if I didn't have the space, I would definitely find a place on the wall 
maybe a place over here. Uh, you can make it happen and just make sure you only put what you actually need for that season. And I just like to have everything nice and neat. So even if I open this door for some reason and someone is in the living room, I just don't want it to look chaotic. So I'm liking the way that it's functioning and then the neatness of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you have in your entryway closet or your entryway bench, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.